My name's Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting. Let's look at body talk. Did you know that 93% of communication is non-verbal? If we miss people's body language or don't even pick it up at all, we're missing so many things, which could actually make the difference between gaining or losing a client. For example, what does crossed arms really mean? Is it the fact that we're cold or are we creating a defensive shield? It could also mean several other things too and we're going to be covering those in Prioritise to Profit this month. Next time you're in a sales meeting, become present and pay attention to the facial expressions, arm gestures and what the person's body is really speaking. By paying attention to body language, there may be a need to change the direction of the conversation, explain things in more detail and even ask other questions to gain that person's business. We respond to gestures and mannerisms without even thinking. People reveal so many things without saying a word. We just need to know what to look for. Think about someone you know who puts on a brave face during difficult times. Although they may say, they are fine, their body language speaks the real truth. A poker champion said that she looks very closely at her opponent's body language and knows the telltale signs which may mean the chances are that they're bluffing. Start to learn what people are really thinking, not just what they say. Body language is extremely powerful when it comes to networking and building relationships with others. It's a fact. In just seven seconds, people judge one another based on their first impressions. And body language is the key. It dominates that conversation. The subconscious does all the reading. It's like a sixth sense. With a few tweaks, we can create a first impression that has much more impact. In Prioritise to Profit this month, we will be revealing that what body language is that we're communicating and how to interpret signals to improve sales and build better client relations. My name's Elaine Betts of GoFar Consulting.